Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Arya's Story. In the last episode, we reached the fairy tale segment of the library, and uh, we got murdered by bears. That's that's about it. We also have an invitation to a party, but nowhere to really use it. I didn't really know where to go since most of the doors down here seem to be locked, but I did do just a bit of poking around off screen, and I discovered that there is a room. Did I interact with this? Yes. Uh, over here. I didn't. I didn't think to look over here, but I didn't do anything. I, I left as soon as I figured it was a room. So now let's poke around proper. A pretty and elegant doll. So is that it? When are these gonna come to life and start killing us? There's cake on the table. Oh, the food looks delicious, but it's fake. Bummer. So what's over here? It's a weird... It's a dollhouse. It's a large mansion toy set. Okay. Is that it? Doesn't really look like there's anything to do here. Huh. So, yeah, I guess all that was for nothing. Y'all saw that, right? Like, as soon as I put my hand on the doorknob, they're just like, Hmm, I think now is a fine time for murder. So, maybe there's something over here too, then. Ah, so there is. What's this? There's a note on the floor. Uh, take it. Examine the note. You want to read it? Yes. Quill, glasses, bookmark, ribbon, magnifying glass, ink. So I guess that's like a to-do list. Why did the music suddenly? Okay, no, no, no. There it is. Have you come here to? And have you come here to play a game? What should we play? Chess? Or maybe musical chairs? I don't know, I have bad experiences on this channel with musical chairs. Sorry, I didn't come to play. Let's play hide and seek! <clears throat> Are you listening to me? I'm going to hide in a place in this room and you have to find me, alright? Ah, uh, fine. Okay, close your eyes, I'm going to go hide. Oh boy. Uh. Oh no. Am I gonna die if I don't find- Oh! I found you! Oh, but my hiding place was perfect! How did you know I was hiding here? Because... You are a book. Bookshelf full of books with the perfect hiding place for a book. Wow, you're so smart. That was really fun. Thank you for playing with me, Arya. I love chess. Aw. Okay. So is there anything else in here then? Or did we just get like a shopping list of things that we need to get? Well, this box full of toys. Any fairy tales on the bookshelf? Hmm. Other than like a game of hide and seek, it doesn't really seem like there's much else in here. Really have anything else to say now. But we do have this note, so. Hmm. I guess we better start looking for these things, maybe? I don't know. Oh! I'm lost. I wanna go home. Can you help me? I think I know where your home is. Thank you. My name is Dolly. Dolly has joined the party. I don't know how to feel about that. She doesn't even show up on the screen. Okay, so let's save real quick. Probably thinking that this is Dolly's home.
None of them seem to want to say anything. So maybe this is your home? This is my house. Thank you. Take this. You can the tree key. Thank you, Dolly. Okay, so neat. We have a key now. Oh, and they stopped following us. I guess. I guess the doll mafia is just like y you. You brought back one of our own, so we'll let you live once. And the narrator still isn't really helping, so. I can only assume that this tree key will go to the only locked door in the area that I know of. Yeah! Hmm. Four trees, four seasons. Probably, anyway. And it looks like. Why do only two of these have flowers? It's an aster inside the face. Let's leave it be for now. Sunflowers at the base. Leave that be for now. This door is locked. Hmm. I'm thinking though. Maybe we have to rearrange them in stuff relating to each season? Well, that's two flowers, but there should be one for autumn, yeah? have anything like that. Not yet, anyway, so... I should arrange those flowers. Yeah, but... Arya, we're not exactly... Uh, can we put them back? there's anywhere for me to go in here to get more flowers. I may have actually fucked up. So, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload my last save real quick and see if there are any flowers around here that I can possibly find. I couldn't. So, maybe I have to put this flower in the right pot, cause like, some, some flowers are like, commonly associated with summer, and so unless I'm like getting something wrong. Can I leave? Yes, I can. But can I go through the other door? The door is locked. A note has appeared on the door. Help the others. So I guess I gotta find a spring flower and a winter flower. We can probably do that. Hmm. Maybe we can find a book about flowers too. That probably wouldn't go amiss. Actually, wait, hold up. Oh, the narrator is gone. Can we move the chair over? Move the chair. Finally, progress. There's a bear here. It's probably gonna kill us. Probably. We should probably save too. Now that we've made a bit more progress. This door is locked. This door is not. So let's see. These books are children's books, but I still like reading them. 
I think age doesn't matter. Everyone has a right to enjoy the books they like. That's true, unless it's a book containing material too sensitive for younger audiences. In that case, those younger audiences should probably have a talk with their parents or something. Seems like it's just all fairy tales. I feel like, like there's something like there wouldn't be a room here for like no re oh do you like books? <gasps> Oh, hello, murder boy! Did I scare you? Sorry, I didn't mean to. You were so focused on reading a book that you didn't notice me coming in. I thought I was the only one trapped in this place. Seeing someone else here makes me feel relieved. Ah, uh, but, but th th that doesn't mean I'm all glad that you're also trapped. Why? Why are you talking to me with such confidence? In the situation you're in, you shouldn't trust anyone. You're right, but... You don't seem like a bad person. <sighs> okay, bye, murder boy. Wait! Did I say something wrong? Did he put the book back? Ah, uh, so we couldn't even find out what he was- Hi! Go away! And... I'm gonna save... Because... Mmm. I don't trust bears. Not in this game, anyway. What's in here? Did Murder Boy come in here? Hello, book. This year Santa brought a present for all of the nice books. I want to open my gift, but I don't know which one is mine. I don't want to open a gift that isn't for me. Can you help me? My gift is a perfect compliment for a book like me. Well, I don't know what that means. Something's off about this gift. <laughs> gift laughed? No! That's a mimic! That's a mimic gift! <laughs> did I scare you? I didn't mean to. Or maybe I did. Hmm, I'm hungry. It's been a long time since I've eaten anything. Please don't say that while you stare at me. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not interested in eating humans. Or maybe I am. Unless you want to find out, you better bring me something to eat. <laughs> right. Uh... Should I just, like, open all the gifts, then? A minute? Are you sure? Sure? Worst that happens is we die. Or become a present. Or become a doll. Alright. So, uh, after reloading the save and hiding behind this tree, I kind of noticed something. There are six presents here. And there are six objects on this list. Let's see. Red and quill, glasses, bookmark, ribbon, magnifying glass, ink. So... I don't know why this one turned me into a doll, but like... Hold on. Glasses bookmark. So, other than like, maybe ink? I'm thinking we need to find which present is yellow? Um, I think it's this one. Gifts with a yellow ribbon, are you sure? Yes. There's a bookmark inside. This ought to do it. A bookmark! Just what I wanted! Can you put it on me? It looks really good on you. It's a very pretty bookmark. Thank you, Arya. A bookmark is the perfect accessory for a book. 
How do you know my name? I don't remember telling you. All the books in the library know you. Hmm, there's only gifts for books here, but I think you deserve one too. If you go to my secret base, you can keep the object that you like the most. I keep my I keep all my treasures there. Really? Thank you. Use this map if you don't know where my, where my secret base is. Thank you. Huh. Okay. So we just need to find a room that looks like this, and use it there. And we'll just ignore the fact that that mimic exists. So let's save again. Hmm, I don't think this is it though. So it must be like in one of the rooms downstairs, maybe? I'm late, I'm late! Must hurry up or I'll be late for the part into the party! White rabbit. Oh boy. Ooh, more books. The cake paintings are very cute. Hmm. Shh, I didn't go to school because there's a test today and I didn't study. Don't tell anyone. Well, if you don't go, you're probably just gonna get flunked. Or you'll be forced to take it anyway when once you actually go. Best, I'm the best student in the entire library. My grades are perfect, just like me. Uh-huh. Psst, do you want me to give you a hint about the test questions? Sure? You should, check, you should check the bookshelves in the room before you take the test. Huh. Will you let me copy your test? No. Oh man, I'm in trouble. Do the test yourself. And you won't have to worry about it. There's a book titled The Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. I've heard about this book, but I've never read it. There's a book entitled The Ugly Duckling by written by Hans Christian Andersen. That one I'm very aware of. I'm also aware that Hans is probably a fucking sadist. Book titled *The Red Shoes*, written by Hans Christian Andersen. No, entitled Red *Little Red Riding Hood*, written by Charles P Perrault. So that's all of them. So I guess this is gonna be a quiz on like authors and such. Ho ho ho! Seems like we have a new student. You're lucky. We're about to have a test. I hope you studied. A test now? Let me know when you're ready. Uh. I think I'm ready. First question. Which of the following was written by Marjorie Williams? The Velveteen Rabbit. Who wrote Little Red Riding Hood? Who wrote Little Red Riding Hood? Charles Perrault. Which of the following wasn't written by Hans Christian Andersen? Pinocchio. You have finished the test. I'll grade it now. You got 10 out of 10. A perfect score. Why don't you visit the chocolate house? It's a reward for you, and it's a reward for passing. Sweet key. Huh. Well, that was easy. So, it looks like we got the key to another room. Let's save though, just in case. Oh wait, this is the way we came. Unless the sweet key goes there, but we won't know until we check everything out. Stuffed rabbit. I don't like the fact that there was like stuff littered or littered between the two rabbits. <sighs> okay, we didn't die. Great. <laughs> Zoom is pitch black. We can't see anything. Mmm. Maybe I just shouldn't go in. Yeah, there could be like killer rabbits, uh, grues. Any matter of terrifying thing that could murder the shit out of you. So let's just not. 
let, let, let's just not. Uh, turtle? Hello, large friend. They say you can run by pressing shift, but what does that mean? Do you think someday I'll be able to win against the rabbit in a race? It's my dream. Uh, maybe if he's overconfident. Then I'll continue my training. Not to mention, turtles can be very fast. Because, like, I've seen a couple of videos on, 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 on the YouTubes. And, like, honestly, it's only really tortoises that are slow. And even then, like, eh, who knows, follow your dreams. Hello, Nutcracker soldiers. Oh, wait! Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My dad used to read me these bedtime stories when I was little. Aww. Huh. Maybe this isn't the right room after all. An illustration book for kids titled The Meaning of Flowers. You wanna read it? Sure. Let's see. Oh! Probably should have learned about this beforehand. Although every color has a different meaning, there's a legend about the meaning of the red tulip. A prince named Fran named Farad, or Farad? Farhad? Uh, was in love with Shirin. When, uh, when she died, he took his own life, unable to stand the suffering of watching this and watching his loved one perish. A tulip flourished from his blood, dying it red with the meaning of perfect love. Tragic. An ancient legend tells that after being expelled from the Garden of Eden, Eve cried because when, because once autumn arrived, flowers withered away and only snow fell. An angel appeared, and to console her, the angel turned snowflakes into snowdrops. This is the reason why snowdrops became a symbol of hope, a proof of winter ending and spring about to come. Huh. Meanwhile, the Texan in me is just being like, Snow? In autumn? Where the fuck do you live? Let's go ahead and read about sunflowers and asters, cause like, why not? Apollo, the sun god, rode his golden carriage every day to the sky from east to west. Clytie, a water nymph, watched, watched Apollo passing through the sky. One day she sat on a rock for nine days without water or food. She was devoted to observing Apollo. On the last day, she turned into a flower flower that was later called the sunflower. The sunflower watches the sun from dawn to dusk, and then signifying admiration. Huh. Because its petals are star-shaped, these flowers were called asters. They symbolized tenderness because of how the goddess Asteria cried when she saw that the stars in the sky were no longer there. When her tears fell, asters flourished. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if any of those are actually true to life, but regardless, uh... We are running a bit low on time, so I guess we'll continue looking for the secret base as well as whatever this key goes to uh, next time on Let's Play Aria's Story. I will see you guys then, and take care. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing and hitting that subscribe bell. If you want to see more of my content, there are some recommendations for you on screen right now. See you soon!